today we'll focus more on the central nervous system which consists of brain and spine many times we have seen situations where patients fall down from a bike a high speed vehicle accident people falling from height even a traumatic head injury by like bitten by some heavy objects or a stick so there are many examples how the brain and the spine gets injured and it creates a panic situation among the common people so what is to be done next suppose you are thinking a bleeding coming out from the head i mean the patient is suffering from a head trauma maybe mild or major or a severe head trauma so those are the panic situations many people think that the patient may immediately die many people think no no there is a time we must keep the patient alive till we should reach the hospital as soon as possible so there are different scenarios i can say in this perspective for the general awareness is that that timing is most important in these traumatic victims and prevention is always better than the cure suppose we are thinking of a traumatic road traffic accident cases where the brain and spine gets involved which causes a major loss or a major comorbidity not only to the person concerned but also to the whole family members so in that situations it is always prevention like wearing a helmet wearing seat belts so all those are preventive measures avoiding alcohol while driving seeing mobile while driving so reckless drivings so there are many ways which we should know before these things happen we can prevent these things very well and very easily so that is my first message to the whole population is that these are the avoidable causes and we should think about it the next one is the how we can treat this patient as soon as possible once we see the patient we should not be very very panic we should uh, provide appropriate resuscitative measures like suppose a bleeding is coming out of the head we should apply proper pressure to up to prevent further bleeding some local stitches some local local application so that the bleeding will stop if you are thinking the skin and the bone all are involved how to pack it with a sterile way and we have to we should ship the patient as soon as soon as possible turning the turning the person as a uh, as a whole uh, like a log of food is a better maneuver to prevent spine injuries so there are different guidelines how we can manage in a roadside uh, person who is suffering from traumatic central nervous system injuries and once the patient reaches hospital hospital people they usually takes different steps different investigation like different test to conclude to a diagnosis the which part of the brain or spine is involved and to treat accordingly so the basic misses in this day that prevention is always better than the cure and we should focus mostly on the preventive care thank you